Hello friends, this is Rupesh and you are watching CBB Nuts video series on binary search three interview related question series and this is the first video of that series. So today we are starting a new series on binary search tree. So we have seen binary tree interview series and linked list interview series, string related interview series and this is going to be your binary search tree related interview question series. So this is going to be interesting. If you don't know what is binary search tree, please go ahead and watch my videos where I have explained what is binary search tree. Let me draw that for you. So we have 10, 5. So this is your binary tree. I mean binary search tree. Binary search tree have a condition if you have a node, its left children should be lesser than this and its right should children should be greater than that. And it should apply to all the nodes. So if you will apply the same property to all the nodes, then automatically all the nodes to the left hand side would be lesser than the current node, whatever you choose, like if you choose this guy, then the left hand side subtree is this, right? Like this whole thing. So this will be the less than 10 and all the right hand side would be the greater than 10. Correct. Now this question is like how to find it? What would be the way to find this element in this tree? So what do you want to find? Let's say we want to find like a value is equal to six. You want to see that whether this six exists inside this tree or not. And this is your root. So you will get this guy inside your function. Now it's your job to decide whether I'll go into the left hand side or the right hand side. And once you go to the right hand side, let's suppose you're going here, maybe then you would never go here. It's not like first I will search this path. And then maybe I will search this path. No, there is no maybe here because you have to take the decision whether I have to go to the left or the right and you cannot change that decision after that. Then you have to compare with this 10. This 10 is greater than six, meaning what you're looking for is less than the current node value. So you have to go for the left hand side because we know the property of BST, all the lesser nodes, I mean, those nodes have less value than the current node will lie in the left hand side. So the possibility is you may find this six in the left hand side. You can never find that in the right hand side. And the same property would apply to all the nodes. So it's like this. The moment you reach to any node, you will check if that node is what I'm looking for. So your roots data is going to be equal to equal to my value. Okay. If that is true, then you just return this node, meaning you found it. If not, then you have to take the decision and yeah, you have to see one more case here. If my roots data is equal to equal to null, if that is case, then also you return, sorry, not roots data here. You cannot check roots data. Basically you have to check root is equal to equal to null. And if that is the case, then you just return root itself because root is like a null. So you are returning ultimately null here. And once you return null, Meaning what, what, what this says, it says that you have hit either of the leaf nodes left or right, meaning you wanted to go either left or right, but now you cannot go. It means you can't find that number what you was looking for. So let's suppose I was looking for two value is two, not six. So what I'll do, I'll check this guy is two. No, I know two is less than 10. So I'll go left hand side, obviously. Then I'll again check with this guy. Is this two? No. Then I have to go to the left because five is greater than two. And I'll see, is this two? No. Then I know I have to go further left. The moment I go left and this line hits, it returns null. I mean root, but the root was null. So I'm just returning null. The moment this null reached here. You know one thing for sure that you will not go right here. You will not go right here. You will not go right here. You already know the answer is you did not find this number because you can only find that number in the left hand side of this three. So once you return something like a null from this condition, then you just have to keep returning from here and here and then you will just return this null itself to the caller of the function, meaning you did not found that number. So let's quickly see that code. So we have this function here. It will search the number for you and return the node itself. So this is your root for now. And we'll pass this 10 here. We are looking for what? Let's say six. Okay. So we are looking for six. 
will reach here if root is equal to equal to null no it is not null or if that is not the case root is the data i mean root contains the data which i'm looking for so root data is 10 and i'm looking for 6 this is not correct so we'll not return root i mean this is not the terminating condition here we'll come here now see this is very important we are checking if my roots data which is 10 less than 6 is this condition true no it is not if it is true let's suppose it is true then only you will go to the right one see otherwise you will never go to the right if you are not going to the right then you are going to execute this guy and this is going to the left one meaning if your roots data is greater than your value you have to go to the left hand side okay that's why you're going to the left hand side it means you will come here you're going to the left hand side right so you will come here coming here meaning what you call yourself with left hand side so this time you are reaching with 5 here not the 10 and 6 is equal to 6 only because you are sending this value again so we have reached to 5 value 6 we'll check this condition this is not going to get true we will come here now and roots data is less than value so now this roots data is changed now roots data is actually 5 and we have 6 here and this condition is actually true so you will go to the right hand side now you will not go to the left hand side okay and you will never go because the moment you are coming back to this function see this return here I told you right once you go to any path you would never go to any different path once you return back to that node from the calling stack that's why we have this return here so we'll go right meaning we'll call this time with six exactly and so this is sixth because we are going to the right of the root and right of this five is six so we are sending six with six this time we'll receive six and six this condition will get true now root is equal to equal to null no root data is equal to equal to value yes it is true we'll return root root is what six itself so we'll return six from here to back to the caller meaning you will come back to this guy only because you went from here only right so you'll come back here now see we are returning from here and if you are returning this root what you got here which is six so where this 6 will reach, this 6 will reach here now because you call this guy after this, okay? So this 6 will reach here and ultimately what I'm trying to tell you is this 6 will reach here and then this 6 will reach here and then this will reach to the caller of this search and they can check if node is not null, meaning it has the data and I have found the node let's see the false case let's see we are looking for two so this is your root we will have 10 and this time we are looking for two right so two is less than 10 yes we'll go to the left two is less than five yes we'll go to the left two is less than three we'll go to the left the moment we'll go to left from here because we are going left from here right so we'll go left but this time when we are standing at this node this node's left is null so basically this root is containing data as 3 but left as null so we'll pass this null here we'll have this null here and we'll see root is equal to equal to null yes it is then we'll just simply return root notice this root is equal to equal to null and we are returning root itself meaning we are returning null so you will return this null here so you will get that null here so there were stacks created right this is stack for 10 this is stack for 5 this is stack for 3 and this stack was created for null but you returned null from here and you got it here and the moment you got it here see we have this return statement so whatever it receives it just returned to the previous stack so we returned null here now okay we had written this null here and then we'll return this null here and similarly this will also do the same thing this guy would return null here and this guy would return null to the caller of this function and we say that no we did not find two this is how basically this whole recursion works in case of this binary search tree cool right so thanks for watching guys bye bye take care if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button guys it helps me a lot bye bye take care I'll see you in the next videos.